Hello YouTube, Dr. Sola coming to you from Lagos, Nigeria. As you could see, I'm at my client, Mr. Dei's place, and he built this uh, carport, and we put his panels on there. What do you have? 16 times 390? 16, 16 times 390. So he has 16 times 390 watt panels on there. They're all the same, even though they look different colors. It's just an, um, it's an illusion, it's not real. So we mounted this for him last week, and we finished it yesterday? Yesterday. yesterday. So right now, I'm going to go back inside and show you the DE 8 kilowatt inverter and what it's currently doing and what it's powering. So wait a second, let me go inside and I'll show you. So these are the streets of Lagos. We're inside an estate, so you can see it's fenced in and the wall is behind the fence. So I am back, so here's the system. It's in a very tight spot, so it's going to be very difficult for me to get everything onto one screen. So you can see it. Uh, battery disconnect. Um, uh, two Wico um, 5.3 kilowatt batteries. They actually communicate and talk to one another. And then here is a DE 8 kilowatt. Sorry, the space is very tight, so let me go inside and maybe you could see what I'm, sh what I'm looking at. So here is our PV disconnect. It's usually outside, but we'll put it inside. And that's the day, eight kilowatt. Here is our, we didn't make that hole. That hole was there, we didn't make it. We're not that clumsy. Um, here we go. Okay, so let's go in and let's see what this is doing. So right now, He's producing 1,112 watts. He's done 8.7 kilowatt hours. There is no grid. The grid has not been has not been here for the last four days, and his consumption is so low right now that that's all he's producing. Um, he's consuming 1,042, so he's matching what he's consuming. The batteries are in float, as you can see. So I don't know what you want me to tell you about this inverter. So far, so good. As you can tell, it's pretty quiet. Uh, this room is air conditioned. So because the AC is on, um, you're not going to hear any sounds. Um, he's currently running. Which of your AC is on? The, the one. So he has that one that's on. Do you want to put that one on too? Okay, he's going to put the second one on. Let's see what that does to our production because... So we've added the second AC. Let's see if the production goes up to match. It takes about what? It, it takes about 30 seconds after you put it on for it to come on, right? The pump? Yes, about 30 seconds. Okay, so I'll come back after the AC has kicked in. So we put it on, and our cons consumption has gone to 1,800 watts. And the production. Has gone up to match you 1,929. You have what do you have? 6,000 watts in panels. I have uh, that's 390 times 16. Yeah, that's about. Um, he has a lot of panels. 390 times 16. I could do 400. 6.24. So he has 6,240 watts in panels. 6.24 kilowatts in panels. It's a very cloudy day today. There's barely anything happening. But I am sure that if he adds more loads, the system will compensate for you. Right now, he has two ACs on. Two ACs on. The one fridge. Uh, one fridge freezer is on. A big fridge freezer. And uh, the pumping machine. The water pump is always on because he uses a pressure, a pressure pump. So here's the refrigerator that's on. So I'm going to make him put a bunch more things on just for us to do a test to see how this works, okay? So sorry, my, the battery on my camera died, so I'm having to use my phone. Hello YouTube, this is Dr. Sola and I'm back. So it's been a while since I've shown my face. Sorry, it's a little hot. Actually, I'm always hot. That's why I have to have air conditioning. So yesterday, uh, as I started to do the video, the phone, the camera went off. The battery had discharged. So I used my phone to do most of the shoot. And what you had seen was the eight kilowatt in, uh, day in with six and a quarter kilowatts in solar panels. Um, after I did the video on my phone, 
I made him put on one more AC. So that was three ACs, one two horsepower, and two um, one horsepower. A washing machine was on. Um, his water pump was on because the pressure tank comes on and off. And his lights, of course. His laptops, my phone was charging. And we were pulling about 3,000 watts in total, which wasn't bad. Our production was not that much more than what we were pulling. It was a wonderful experience. This morning, he was pulling 5 kilowatts from his panels, and his consumption was about 3 kilowatts. He had the same ACs on, everything. Um, in fact, for la the last 5 days, he's been running off his day. Yes, hi, it's been a while you've seen my face. Um, I'm hot because I'm always hot. Um, so, he hasn't had the grid for over 5 days, and yesterday when the grid came back, the voltage the inverter was seeing was 147 volts, so he could not, um, the system wouldn't transfer, so he kept running on his batteries all through the night. He's running on his batteries today. We'll go tomorrow to find out why he's showing 147 on the input side of the inverter. If it's something we can correct, we'll correct it. But I'm, I'm pretty excited. Uh, my air fryer, let me show it to you. I've been using it and I'm pretty excited about what I can do with it. Let me show you dinner I made. I made some chicken, black man and chicken, you know, we go hand in hand. So here it is, it looks really yummy. That's dinner with some corn, with lots of butter, and maybe I have a salad to go with it. I've not made up my mind yet. So if you like what you see, please give me a thumbs up. Um, if you're yet to subscribe, please click the subscribe button. Once again, this is Dr. Sola coming to you from Lagos, Nigeria, and my delicious looking chicken. I'm sure Kentucky Fried Chicken, Kentucky Fried Chicken, um, Colonel Sanders, doesn't have anything on me. Uh, what I like about this air fryer is that you don't need to use oil to cook, so it's pretty good. And I have the skin on the chicken. Anyway, once again, thank you for watching. Dr. Sola, out.